This is a scissors extension I've been working on. And it'll open up to about three and a half feet. Assembling one of these, you have to glue your pins to one of the outside slats and then put the center pieces in and then glue the pin to the outside slat. And you have to do that in such a manner, make real sure you don't get any glue on the moving parts or it won't move. It's very similar to when you put the wood gear chain together. We had to glue the link on the outside to the wooden doll, make sure that these were still movable in the center piece, and then glue the link to the outside doll, making sure that everything was still free. And that's what we need to do on this one, the same way. This one isn't any more complicated to assemble than the others. You still only have to worry about the glue between the wood dial and the outside slat. And you make sure that all the others are free. These are kind of fun. You can put them in your shop. You can use them. put a work light out on one side. I'm only going to do this with this one that's been glued together permanently. You can see it's got quite a reach. They're not strong this way. This can only be used really vertically, a vertical mount. Or straight up and down like a scissors lift. This is what they used to put the boxing glove on in the, in the old cartoons. Pow! Reach out and get somebody. I installed this scissors to hold the light, be able to use it at both my disc sander and my reciprocating sander. You have adjustments for up and down. Swing it that way. This piece will rotate in here. And I took the fitting that came with the light and glued it in the end of this wooden doll so this light is still adjustable. I made two versions of this. This one's five links wide. It's, it's fairly rigid. It's certainly strong enough for this application. Here you can see how the wires move back and forth with the scissors. I took the original light, put an extra long piece of wire to extend it to the nearest outlet. If you need a light, you just pull it over to the disc sander, turn it on. When you're done, get it out of your way, bring it over to the reciprocating sander, reposition the light, wherever you want it. This is a unit I made for the router table. This is three lengths wide, it's a lot more flexible. I actually prefer the five length model, it's more rigid.